In this video, we're going to look at channel art. Now, channel art is important for a few reasons. One, it shows you care. If you don't have channel art, you probably don't care about your channel, and you're probably not going to be releasing very many great videos, so I'm probably not going to subscribe. Number two, it also builds trust. It's a way to show your subscribers that you know what they want and you're going to give it to them. And three, it shows off your personal brand. It shows off what you think you look like or how you think you are. And this can help attract the certain type of subscriber that you want to attract. In this video, we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at some good and bad examples of channel art. We're also going to learn how to create your own channel art and upload it to YouTube. Let's get started. So let's look at some channel art for some great YouTube channels. Now, I'm not saying this is the best channel art on YouTube, nor am I saying it's the worst. Here's kind of a random collection of a lot of YouTubers who have quite a lot of followers. We'll see what they're doing. So first up, Devin Supertramp. Now I really like Devin Supertramps because it has his logo, it has his name, and it has that extra something. For him, it's new videos every Monday at approximately what time. He tells you exactly what to expect so you want to subscribe. He's building trust and confidence. Plus his picture is pretty epic. It shows off his brand, shows off his golden hour sunlight, everything that he's all about. And he does a really good job with the whole overall look. And his colors match also his profile picture, which is pretty good. Next up, we have Casey Neistat. So Casey is nice because, once again, his profile picture and his banner match pretty well. It shows him what he does, making films. It also shows off his iconic sunglasses and his handwritten, hand-forged ethos. It's pretty good. It shows off kind of what he is about. And once again, it builds trust. Next up, Gardner Sisters. So they have a professionally designed channel art. You can tell. So they have their name, obviously. They have their EP available now. And they have where their sound is available. So that's the extra little something. They're telling you, look, we're musicians. Here's where we get our music. Subscribe, because we're going to be good. And we have a nice picture. Next up, Haley Divine. Now, I put this one so high because Haley's is very, very simple. All it is is the name of her blog, the URL, and that's it. Very clean. But that's all about her brand. She's very, very clean photographer. And the colors kind of mesh well with her profile picture, so it works out well. Next up, Kenzie Nemo. Once again, nice picture, name of channel. Colors kind of blend to black and white, which fits with her profile picture. Very nice, very clean. Blake Voigt. Now, he's a magician. I would have preferred if he had some information here, like, here's when my videos come out, or here's my name, or here's where else you can find me. But this isn't bad. It shows off kind of his magician kind of style. He doesn't really jive well with his profile picture. That's why this one's ranked a little bit lower. Good Mythical Morning. This one should be higher. This is a great, great one because it shows exactly what you're going to get. Here's a still from their videos. Good Mythical Morning. When it is, you know exactly what you're getting with Rhett and Link. Next up, Alex Ican. So this one's interesting because it's a little bit small. He's leaving a lot of white space here. He definitely had this professionally designed. He has a little logo here. Kind of nice. Um, but the white works with the white in his profile picture. It's kind of his look. If you look at his videos, they're all kind of white. Lots of lots of white space. So the channel art really works for him in that case. Colin Furs or Fuse or whatever his name is. So this one is a, kind of a few pictures put together. It's not super clean, but it is exactly what you're getting with Colin. If you watch his videos, they're insane. Usually something explodes. So this is a perfect channel art for him. Beyonce obviously is Beyonce. Some people can get away with just putting their name on a black background. She's one of them. You could try that, and honestly, if that's kind of your brand, it would work as well. Now, this looks like kind of a bad channel art, right? It's just a bunch of pictures kind of mashed together with some, I'm not going to say shoddy Photoshop work, but, but the thing is, this is exactly what all of the thumbnails for all these kids toy review things look like they just basically mash together so this channel is perfect because this is what people expect this is the area that they're competing in and they're doing it very well obviously so this is a great channel art for them next up ken and aki's channel so they have two pictures on a background with their name and their channel works great right their kind of look is bright happy fun bright happy fun it, that's basically what they're going for and that's what they achieve next up mark roper so I really like this one because it's a picture of him, which is what you get in his videos. It's social proof saying, hey, look, lots of people like my videos. And oh, look, here's where I've been featured. This one builds trust as well. This is great channel art. Not super hard to do, but works very well. So quick review. The keys to great channel art. One, it should build trust. People need to know what they're going to get from you so they want to subscribe. They need to tell you that, yes, I trust that you will come up with good enough videos in the future. They'll be worth my time. Your channel art can help build that trust. 
Number two, it should match your look and your brand. Number three, the standard formula for channel art is picture plus info plus that extra pop, that little something special. And finally, you need to compete in your niche. You need to match a little bit the area you're playing in. Obviously, you want to be different. You want to be unique. But if people expect something, you should give it to them. So to find your background image, we're going to go to allthefreestock.com. And we're going to go to multi-site search and then open up all of these different ones in different tabs so we can compare and contrast. Since we're making Cooking Twinkle, let's search for cooking. And we're going to search in each one and switch to the next one so we can finish loading while we're searching on the next one. Searching for cooking. This one doesn't have an actual search, just by tag, so let's look for the tag of food. And let's switch back to the first one and see what we get. Now you're just looking for something that would make a good background. So it can't be too busy, it can't be too crazy. It needs to be high quality. So that one looks kind of nice. We're scrolling around. Um, I like kind of like the cookie one. It's kind of boring colors. Um, a lot of the vegetable ones are interesting, but there's too many lines and we couldn't put text over the top of them. We need some clear space. Not necessarily white space, but definitely some space that has some uh, area for text. This almond one looks kind of nice. It's also sure for baking. Maybe there's different pictures. Scrolling through here, the grills are fun, doesn't really show the brand we're looking for. It's not like barbecue, we're looking for kind of a cooking baking channel. That one's kind of nice. It has some, uh, have some space on the cutting boards where you can put some text maybe. So I'm just going to go through and find a bunch of different pictures, open them all up, compare and contrast them, then download them so we can try them out making our channel art. I'm going to speed this part up a little bit. Down. Here's where it gets fun. We're going to open up Canva.com. Canva is a, basically an online Photoshop, but it's really simple, pretty easy. And the nice thing is they have presets for a bunch of different social images. So let's go to more. Then we're going to drill, scroll down to the YouTube channel art. Now Canva has some free elements and some paid elements. So if you see a little free badge like this one right here, you can use it completely for free. If you want to use one of the other ones, you have to pay like a dollar per item, I think. So I usually just pick the free ones to get their designs, and then I replace it with my own images and assets. So let's scroll down to the one I like to use at the very bottom, which is right here. Now we want to make sure that what we put on here is what shows on YouTube. So we're going to open up the YouTube template. Switch over to your desktop, grab the template, and drag it on in. It's going to upload right here. And once that's set, I'm going to drop it on there. So let's make it about the same size. And we want to highlight the center area. So now we're going to have to add a guide. So hit control semicolon and drag over from the edge. This is going to put an invisible guide. Now this won't show up when we export the final image, but it'll help us keep all our items inside the visible area. Let's do it again, another, another guide. So drag from the edge again. Then we're going to drag two guides down from the top. You don't have to be exact, just get the basic area. Then hit control semicolon again to exit the guide mode. Then we're going to delete the YouTube template. So if you want to show your guides, just hit control semicolon again. The guides will pop up. Then control semicolon again. It'll make them go away. So let's customize what we have right here. So let's change this to cooking twinkle. It's a little bit too big, so let's select all the text. Make it a bit smaller. It's getting close. Cooking twinkle. Let's show our guides. Control semicolon. A little bit too big. Let's drop it back a little bit. There, that's looking pretty good. So let's keep customizing our YouTube channel art. I'm gonna change this to cook all the things, our imaginary tagline. And we're gonna change this to new videos every Tuesday. If that was when our fictional cooking channel released their new videos. Let's make this a little bit smaller so it fits. Let's bump this up a little bit. 
and check the guides. Okay, so we can see that Cooking Twinkle and Cook All Things are going to show up, but new videos every Tuesday will not. So let's see if we can make these a little bit smaller. Down this size a little bit. Move it down, give it more space. We'll bring down the Cooking Twinkle. Then let's select both the new videos every Tuesday and the lines. So hit Shift or Option to cook, select multiple things. And drag all those down. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And we don't really need this box, so we can delete that. So our design is looking pretty good. We can maybe adjust a few things, like bumping this up a little bit to try to clear the bottom line, get some white space. We can make things bigger or smaller. But the main thing is we need to switch out our background photo now. So let's switch to the desktop and get our new background photo. Let's try the veggie bowl one. Just drop that in there. It'll upload over here. Once the color is fully full, that means it's uploaded. Let's try dragging that on and replacing it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You can tell that it has the filter on it, so we can turn that filter off if we want. It's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, if you look at the area, it looks a little busy. We need a little more clean space. So let's try a different photo. Switch back to the desktop. Let's try the almonds. It'll upload over here. Pop that in there better, looking better. We can make this bigger and kind of stretch that clean space out a little bit more. So it's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, the white on white is hard to see. So let's select these and change the color. We could try just straight black. All right, it's looking great. So maybe let's add a space between cooking and twinkle so we can tell us two different words. But after that, I think we're good to go. So let's download this. Click download and then select as an image. It'll start preparing your design and pretty soon it'll start downloading down in the download bar if you're using Google Chrome. Now you have to make sure that the image size is under two megabytes. It should be, but sometimes they give you big images. So show in Finder and you can see, okay, we're under two megabytes. So let's drag it to the desktop, and we are going to upload this to YouTube. So hop on over to YouTube, click on My Channel, then click on this pencil right here, and hit Edit Channel Art. You're going to select a photo from your computer. It's going to show you what it's going to look like on the desktop, on the TV, and the mobile. I've never seen YouTube on the TV, and I rarely see it on a mobile, and mobile is pretty similar to the desktop. So we're going to hit Select. So we can see it looks nice, but it's a little bit too zoomed in right here. And it happens we had to blow it up a lot. So let's go back to Canva and see if we can fix that. Now that looks a lot better. Fortunately, it's not perfect, so I'd take some time to play around a little more if this was really going to be my channel art. But here's the thing. you got to just try things. Test it out. See how you like it. Put it up. It doesn't work. Change it out. And you pretty soon, you'll have the perfect channel art.